What's good YouTube? It's your boy Ilza One, and I'm back with another video for you guys. If you are a new subscriber, you are welcome. Join the family. So today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys five things which I wish I knew ab uh, about before I started trading or in the beginning of my journey knowing trading. And we'll get straight to the video. First thing which I would like to talk about is trading a big demo account. That's something which I didn't know which will affect me. You know, because everybody when we start trading, we'll start with a demo account which uh, they propose us 100,000. And when we take our first trade, we don't put a stop loss. We use a big uh, lot size without knowing that um, this is how Forex works. We just buy and sell. And obviously, we don't put stop loss. So you can leave your trade after two hours. You find yourself in big, massive profits. And you know, in, our, in the first time when we see such thing, we think, okay, this is how Forex is. But in reality, it's because we are using a bigger account and that's why we see bigger profits. Now, when it's time for you to go in a live account, you see two different things, you see. Instead of you seeing profit, the, those big profits, you start seeing small profits and be like, no, actually, this is not what I saw at first, you know. This is what I, I didn't see. I saw bigger profits. I saw bigger money. But right now I'm in live. I don't see the profit which I used to see. So my advice to you is that if you want to start trading or if you have already started trading and you're trading a big um, demo account, I will advise you to trade account which you will be able to invest. Let's say if you want to invest, let's say 10,000 or you want to invest a thousand rand or whatever amount you want to invest, uh, open a demo account with the same amount which you are willing to risk. So you can open a hundred thousand if you can only invest ten thousand. You can open ten thousand if you can only invest a thousand rand. You see, so invest like open the demo account with the money which you will you will also be able to put in the forex market. Second thing which we'll be talking about today is stick to one strategy. You know, at the beginning of my trading journey, you know, I didn't know where to start and whatnot. I will just jump from one strategy to the next, from this one to that one. I thought. Um, I'm just being smart. I'm mixing strategies and it will help me to to be having many wins or what what But in reality, you are just confusing yourself because when you have a lot of strategies You win you will not know Which strategy will work for you? So my advice for you if you are starting forex like right now or you are still struggling pick a strategy that you think it will work for you You know and after you pick that strategy, I would like you to Start building it, start practicing it, back test it and forward test it and see after a few months or a few hundred trades at least and see how it works. If it doesn't work, that's when you can at least try and change the strategy. But don't change a strategy before you actually see if it's profitable or not. As for me, a strategy does not really play a big role. A role is how you implement that strategy. So just take one strategy, try and work out and see, will this strategy be profitable for me or not? And after a thousand or a hundred trades or after one month of trying that strategy and you don't understand it, that's when you can proceed to try another strategy. And the third thing which I would like to share, which I wish I knew about is learn one thing at a time. You know, that's something I really struggled with. At first, I only, you know, I will learn from support and resistance to de supply and demand. Like I kept changing from one thing to the next thing without understanding what I'm learning. You know, I would learn like 10 things in a day because I was so like I had that eager to learn um, the Forex market, which I was overdoing instead of me sticking to one thing, learning it and understanding it, then jumping to the next thing. I was just jumping from one thing to the next thing. And at the end of the day, I was so confused, not knowing, OK, how will I put all these things together to form a strategy? You know, learn one thing at the next. If you are right now, you're learning liquidity understand everything about liquidity if right now you are learning about um supply and demand then work toward it try and understand as much things as you as you can about um supply and demand and if the next thing which you are looking at is um uh, support and resistance stick and understand it properly until you are you must then be like okay this is how my supply and this is how my demand or this is how my um support and resistance is working that's when you can now jump to the next thing maybe market structure you try and understand okay how is market tra structure how do you form a, uh, how do you identify market structure or uh structure mapping it depends with what you want to call it you jump into it and you try and learn as much things as you can about it and once you master it you jump to the next thing trust me there you'll save much of your time and you'll be able to understand everything which you're learning which one will not confuse you you know and the, the fourth thing which i wish i knew about is building your own strategy you know 
that's something i really struggled with because i kept following people's strategy from strategy to strategy but i did not understand that you know their strategy can work with them but when it comes to me it will not work the same as it will work for them so try and as i said understand whatever which you are learning and implement it in your own way you can have a mentor which is good right but sometimes that mentor will not see the market the way you're seeing it unless if it trends you that much having a mentor is actually an advantage because you'll be able to understand the market way quicker the way you understand it which is better but sometimes for those people who do not have a mentor try and build a strategy according to how you see the market you know with how much things you are learning that's how much you'll be able to see the market if you learn more about liquidity you will be able to understand the market um how liquidity moves in the market and you can be able to trade according to what you have understood or what you have learned so my my advice for you today is that try and build a strategy to according to how you're gonna see the market not according to how other people will see it so that you know it can make sense for you because at the end of the day the one who's trading is you yes that's my fourth point and my fifth and final point um before i share it with you i just want to say thanks to all of you who are watching this far i hope you are having you are learning something yes so let's jump to the next thing fifth thing which is the most important thing in forex you know we can talk about building a strategy we can talk about um you are understanding risk management and whatnot but the most important thing in forex trading which they don't really speak about is the psychology you know that's which plays a bigger role and the psychology is mostly when taking a trade or while in a trade you know how do you react when taking that trade how do you react when you lose how do you react when you win you know a lot of mentors which you see which you should uh, be careful with is how they react when they have winning days or they have losing days if you see a mentor jumping because of a win just know that it's probably not profitable because if someone is profitable he will not be too excited for the win you know because it's something which you understand okay this is how i trade and my wins usually come you know but if someone is like, celebrating their wins that means when they have their losing days they will be depressed they, they will not understand what to do because they they are used to seeing profit and they're so happy getting this profit and when they lose they'll be like but how how come i got this so much profit now now i'm losing you will become depressed and think forex is a scam but once you understand that okay i have winning days and losing days even into winning days you will not be too excited you know because you know that my strategy is actually profitable and even when you lose you understand okay my my, my strategy is still profitable it's just that um i have maybe a bad uh, a bad week which I, i've lost or my, the market did not play according to my strategy you know and when you once you start understanding this you will see how you'll start to perform in the forex market you know thank you very much for for sticking to till the end of this video i love you a lot i hope you like comment share and subscribe and i have more things to share with you and in this channel i want to focus more into building the psychology because i know a lot of traders are actually lacking it so i'm here to share with you guys everything which i, I wish i knew everything which i know and everything which i want you guys to know till this far it's your boy little one and i'll see you back again peace